Are you an audiophile who owns thousands of CDs and would like a digital source streaming type solution that would make it easy for you to access and play them all? I know a lot of those CDs may be classical albums or larger compilation type albums where it's really important to accurately collect the metadata. And would you like to stream music from Tidal, Cobas, or maybe use Rune? And would you like this digital solution to give you reference level sound quality? And or do you just really like the color gold? And if any of those are true and you, well then maybe Melco's N10 45th anniversary edition will be the ticket. Melco, if you're not familiar, are a Japanese high-end hi-fi manufacturer with a history that dates back to 1975. And today they only manufacture what they call music libraries. Other manufacturers might call a similar product a music server, just for some kind of reference purposes. And Melco's 45th anniversary edition of their flagship music library, the N10, is a limited edition product. They have only made 50 of them. But how is it different to their normal N10? Well, most obvious is the color, champagne gold. And hopefully I've captured the color accurately for you, but it's a matte gold, so quite understated. I think it's all a throwback to 1970s Japanese designs. And in the flesh, I actually think it's really nice. I think it's something very different to boring old black and silver. The second main difference is with the internal storage, which gets upgraded from three terabytes to five terabytes, which in real world terms means a thousand or more uncompressed CDs worth of extra storage, which is very significant if you own or buy a lot of CDs. But apart from that, the 45th anniversary edition is the same as the normal N10, which is great for me in this review because it means it's still a relevant review once all the other 49 units are sold. A Melco N10 will cost you £6,999, and the 45th anniversary edition is a premium model at £7,499. So there is a £500 price difference, which initially does seem like a lot of money just for a hard drive storage upgrade and a change of color. But that depends on, I suppose, <laughs> your use case scenario and how important it is for you to have you know, that extra internal storage. And the N10 is comprised of two units that are half width chassis sized. The head unit that houses all the important digital circuitry and the other unit is a low noise linear power supply and they connect together with an included cable. Melco's design choice here is to separate the power supply from the sensitive digital circuits and make the power supply linear for overall best sound quality. And I'm pretty sure Melco have designed the two units to be placed side by side because two halves equals a whole. However, of course, you can stack them to save space, and I really do like the look of them stacked. I think it strengthens the otherwise quite understated design, but your mileage may well vary. And I suppose you could use them in a married with children configuration, that is up to you. When you look at the rear of the N10 head unit, one thing really stands out, or actually doesn't. There are no aerials, so no wireless or Bluetooth if that is important to you. It's a wired LAN connection design only. And there are only four connections in total. One for your network, one for connecting to a network player or DAC via a network cable, and two USB ports with an additional USB port on the front, which is very useful. There are four control buttons and a simple for 2021 anyway, black and white OLED screen, which again is very useful for setting up the N10 because there is a lot going on behind the scenes with various menu settings to go along with it. And I could work most of it out with my infallible Mal intuition, but I definitely think there is a learning curve here for what all of the options do. So you definitely have to swallow your Mal pride and read the manual. You can navigate through the menu system to even get music playing, which is probably useful maybe in a pinch. But the bulk of your interaction is going to be with your phone or tablet and either with Rune, as the N10 is Rune ready, but if not Rune, then probably Melco's own Music HD app, which is only available on iOS 
devices. Firstly, navigating your own music stored on the internal five terabyte hard drive starts with a nice list of category options to choose from, such as composer, decade, and genre, as well as the obvious ones like artist and album. And I can see these extra options being really useful for navigating around a large music collection, especially a large classical music collection. And you can see as you navigate through the system, all the information is presented very quickly. But it does take a little bit of time for the album arts to load. The N10 is therefore a product that the user experience gets better over time the more that you use it. And I like the fact there is a search bar at the top, but I do wish there was the option to make the album art larger instead of having the text. Because I am a visual creature and I prefer that. But clicking on any of the albums or maybe tracks and playing them, you can see the album art pops up on the left hand side with basic playing control options at the bottom, play, stop, skip track, etc. And it is possible to make the album art full screen if you want to. And it's easy enough to do all the things that you would expect, like build, play, cues, etc. Overall, the app experience of navigating your own music is good. You do have to have a little bit of patience because there is a bit of loading that goes on here and there as you navigate around. But it is minimal in the grander scheme of things, really. However, no loading and everything being instant would obviously be better. And this N10 was sent to me with 29% of its storage space being filled with music, so 2,118 albums. So a large music library, and I think that is important to mention because obviously that's having an impact on the user experience. However, the second half of the app experience I enjoyed much more, entering into Cobuzz, and now we have larger album art. And browsing around between albums, different playlists, or anything within Cobuzz is lightning fast and a great experience and this is how I use the N10 for the bulk of the review because it's my Cobuzz account right so it's my music collection. Overall the Music Melco HD app is very easy to just pick up and use but definitely could be better. I was able to use alternative UPnP based control apps and streamed music from the Melco's internal storage and from Cobuzz so that is definitely an option if owners want to use it. But what about sound quality? Well, I feel like for a product like the Melco N10, a digital source, well then of course you're always analyzing its sound quality through the lens of the DAC that you connect to it. In my case, that DAC was Musician Audio's flagship Aquarius R2R resistor ladder DAC. And I'm happy to report I only have good things to say here. As, like I mentioned at the start of the video, I feel like the Melco N10, obviously the 45th anniversary edition the same, is capable of giving you a reference level sound quality. But what does that even mean? To me, it means the N10 delivers a very technically proficient sound. So a sound that is clean and clear and harshness free. Its timing is excellent. The sound stage is exactly what you expect with everything being in the right place with a nice amount of space and organization and layering. There is good tonality and good musicality and nicely delivered vocals, treble and bass. The N10, it doesn't put a sonic foot wrong. And I would actually liken its performance really to a very good FPGA DAC, a very technically proficient sound without any of its own real sonic character to speak of. And you might say, well, all digital sources should sound like that, but in practice, do they? And I also think, you know, calling it a reference level product means that someone like me could use it as a reference point to compare other similar devices against. I suppose what I'm trying to say is the N10 will deliver exactly what you would expect for a high quality, high end digital source. But listening to it with the musician Aquarius DAC compared to Kerry Audio's DMS 700 network audio player with its inbuilt DAC. These two gave me very different sonic presentations with both being great in their own rights. One sounding a bit sweeter and silkier and the other one more precise with more soundstage space and organization. And I appreciate that is obviously an apples to oranges comparison, but I'm just trying to use it as an example that you can use different digital tool components to maybe get or achieve a different type of sound through the hi-fi system. 
for my final thoughts, they are a little mixed because I think the Melco N10 should be on your demo list if you want a music server or maybe music library that is very high quality with very high sound quality. And I think it will stand out as a solution for those with larger music libraries, especially larger classical music libraries because of how your music will be catalogued from a metadata point of view. However, the anniversary edition of the N10, I do feel it's a little bit harder to recommend purely because of the price difference. But then again, you might really appreciate and value that extra internal storage. You may just really love the color, that champagne gold finish, or maybe you just want to own something that is you know, limited edition, that little bit extra special. And I think on that, maybe it would have been maybe just a little bit nicer to have some kind of plaque on the units that says 45 anniversary edition, but that's just me, my take on it, your mileage may well vary. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and obviously subscribe to the Pursuit Perfect System YouTube channel if you haven't already, of course you have. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.